Hello, everybody, and welcome to our Rock On program. It's a three-part program where we're going to talk about some geology. And I'm Miss Monica. I'm Mr. Harold. So the first thing we're going to talk about is geology. Um, do you know what that is, Mr. Harold? Um, I have an idea of geology. It has something to do with uh, the earth, the, the stones. Study of the earth. Study, study of the earth. earth. Okay. And do you know what a geologist is? Well, a geologist would be a scientist who studies the earth. Very good. Hey. All right. Now we're going to Logic. talk about yes. We're going to talk about rocks, and we have a rock here, and we're going to describe a rock and maybe write down some of the qualities of a rock. So, what do you think some of the qualities of a rock are? Well, let's see. I'm thinking that you might want to use this mess marker. Okay. Easier to see. That's easier to see. Okay. So, qualities of rock. Uh, rocks are hard. Yeah. Um, they can be heavy. They can be small. Right. Is a is a rock that small and a boulder large, or can rocks be large boulders? I think rocks, boulders are big rocks. Actually, okay. I think. Um. What else? They can yeah. be. Um, they, they can, can be, be big too. Though. They can be big. They can be um, rough. Like they, the surface. They can be smooth. Um. What else? What else? Rocks. What other things can rocks be? They um. They're well, colorful. Yeah. Yeah. Different, different types colors. of colors. Yes. They can be all different colors. They can be dull brown, rock, we have rocks that are shiny and maybe some different colors like green and red. Are diamonds rocks? rocks? No, diamonds are minerals, and we will talk about that on our next program. There's going to be another program. There cool. will be two more programs okay. after this. Awesome. So, so how does, how does, what makes rocks happen? Well, there's actually a cycle that happens to form rocks, and it's called the rock cycle. And are we talking about that right now? No, no. We're going to talk about <laughs> the three types of rocks first. <laughs> All right, so geologists group rocks into three main types based on how they are formed. They are igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Now, the igneous rocks are made when the lava cools. So we know what lava is, right, Mr. Harold? That's the hot stuff in volcanoes? Right, it's also called magma. Okay. So when it volcano erupts and all the hot lava comes out, and it's, it's cools, glowing and it's, right. it burns. And it cools off. Okay. And then what's left behind are the igneous rocks. Okay. So that's the first kind. The next kind is the sedimentary rock. And that's kind of just like it sounds sediments. Sediments are like little pieces of stuff that fall down on the ground, like you have leaves and twigs and animal bones and oh, wow. just stuff over, everything. yeah everything, everything everything and over millions of years kind of gets compressed there on the ground from animals walking on it and people walking on it and forces of nature like wind forces and, of and nature yes. what, um, water right water. so all this gets compressed down and it's called a sedimentary rock and a sedimentary rock if you find one and you pick it up you can actually look and see the different layers of sediment one. No, that's this a metamorphic oh, metamor rock. Metamor metamor that's what happens a little later, okay. just a few million years down the road. That's when that happens. So the sedimentary rock has all these layers. They're compressed down. They're also very fragile, and sometimes you could just break them apart with your hand. Oh, wow. Yeah. So now we have the sedimentary rock, and it's laying there, and some more time goes by, a couple a layers, of layers, yeah, a little bit of time. And that's when we come to the metamorphic rock. And that's formed when heat and pressure uh, from the elements, millions of years, compress it all together, and it's a lot more solid. But you can still see all, all the kinds small of things. little elements. Different colors, up. some things shiny and sparkly, and yeah. some of it looks like dirt. Right, <laughs> pretty much. And there is a lot of dirt in sedimentary rocks, too. And the three groups of rocks, the igneous, the sedimentary, and metamorphic, are all part of the rock cycle. Oh, wow. Yes, and we're going to talk about that. This means that they are part of a process where rocks form, they break apart, they reform again, but it takes thousands of years for the rocks to change at all. So we're going to get the rock cycle and show how that process works. Let me get that. All right. So tell us about the rock cycle. All right. Well, first you start with the magma. Magma. Right, otherwise known as liquid or molten rocks or lava. 
And that happens when a volcano erupts and the rocks or the liquid magma comes from beneath the Earth's crust because the tectonic plates are shifting. So once the magma erupts, it begins to cool off and the cooling magma is known as the igneous rock, which is right there, yeah. Igneous rocks are the oldest and strongest types of rock. Two types of igneous rock are granite and basalt, which we will learn about more in part three of this video series. Igneous comes from the Greek word that means fire formed. And that sure is fire formed and it comes from uh, magma. Rocks on the Earth's surface get exposed to sun, wind, rain, ice, and heat. Over time, these elements slowly break down rocks, and this is called weathering. Weathering can happen to any of the three types of rocks. Wind, water, and temperature can break the igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic rock. When the rocks are broke down, they become sediments. Can't really see sediments on there. Erosion is another way that rocks can be broken down. Once a rock is broken down into smaller parts or sediments, they settle to the earth in streams or riverbeds. And then over thousands of years, these little sediments begin to mix with leaves and sand and animal pieces, fossils, and the weight of the water in a river or stream, or perhaps the weight of humans or animals walking on these sediments, provides pressure to the sediments. And over many years, compaction and cementation begin to take place. And now you have the sedimentary rock. And they are very fragile and can be easily broken and then separated down. You can separate them back down into all their different elements. When heat and pressure are both applied in greater amounts to the sedimentary rock over time, a metamorphic rock will form. And like we said, in a metamorphic rock, the sediments can no longer be separated they're dispersed through the rock, but you can still make out each of the sediments in the rock. If a great amount of heat, thousands of degrees, is applied to a metamorphic rock, like a volcanic eruption, the rock will eventually melt again and become magma. Thus, the rock cycle is complete. The rock cycle is not a complete circle, though. Rocks change from within the rock cycle all the time. For example, a metamorphic rock can go through weathering or erosion and become sediments without even ever becoming a sedimentary rock. And sedimentary rocks can actually be very large because if you go out into the western United States, you can actually see some mountains. You can actually see the striations there. So they're just like really big sedimentary rocks. Okay, everybody. So we talk about the rock cycle. And if you've happened to notice our background, this is an amazing example of just how pronounced the rock cycle can be because the canyons throughout the world are nothing if not the expression of the wind and fire and, and the movement of the earth that creates all the rocks and minerals that we see all around us. All right, so now we're going to do an experiment and kind of show you how the rock cycle works. And what we're going to use is a little pieces of crayon, which will represent our sediments. Sediment. We have some heat we'll, that will represent the forces of nature. There you go. So all do right. I sprinkle all this together? Yes. Okay. So the first thing would be the sediments. So this is over hundreds of years. The little sediments okay. are falling into the riverbed or on the earth. Blowing There's around by the blowing wind. Blowing by the wind. People and animals kicking things around. There you go. Okay. Well, let's see what else we. So we got some sediments. So we got some sediments. All kinds right. of cool stuff. Right. So what happens now? And you want to move them, you know, mix them up because that's what so happens over the years. The wind and the rain, and fire. Here we go. All right. Now, compression. Just like this. Yeah. Would that be good? Okay. Yeah. And like this. Oh, no, no, because no. you want it to, this part to stay. So oh, okay. Put it just one more time like that. Thank you. All right, and now all the compression from the water and the so, people walking in and animals. Acting walking. as Mother Nature's surrogate. <laughs> Pressure, elements, forces of nature. Hey, hold on. <laughs> that was a hurricane right there. <laughs> there we go. Oops. Let's see now. <laughs> Let's see if we got some new balance kind of pressure on there. Let's see what happens. 
Hey, y'all. It's a sedimentary. Oh, yeah. Rock. Look, see the piece? And see how it like broke? So it's, so it's solid there. It's solid, but it's still kind of fragile, as you can tell. So it's sedimentary, which means it's kind of segmented. There's nothing holding it together other than the years and years of pressure. And it can break down back into all those separate. And, and considering whatever happens, it could go back to its own sedimentary state. Mm -hmm. So what's next? Now we're going to apply some more heat and pressure to it. Oh. Go ahead and fold the paper and bring okay. the oil back to the way it was. So our sedimentary rock is going back into the pressure machine. Oh, did that just unfold? All right. And now what we're going to do? It's going to be, how long do you put it? Sorry. Here's the... Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> that's cool. that's I think we need to do that over again. <laughs> the there you go. Oh, So what you just saw was a chaotic experiment <laughs> in um, expediting the forces of nature. That's right. So let's see if it works. Or if we have to apply a little more heat. Let's see. Oh wow. Uh, maybe um, a little more. A little more. A little more pressure. A little more pressure, heat. More heat. Ooh, it feels good. Nice and warm. Nice and warm. This would be good. Remember, in the winter time. They are. I feel like we should have like I a think theme song. Be, yeah. Bum, bum, <laughs> bum. Oh, well, actually, there is hey. some metamorphosis here. Look at that. You can see where the elements see, blend in together. See, the metamorphosis going. We see the elements becoming one up right here, up here yep. and here. And they can't be broken down. Those areas can't be broken down now. They that are one. They are one. So what kind of rock is that? That is a metamorphic rock. Okay, and why do we use the word metamorphosis again? Or metamorphic? Because it's changed. It's changed. As all so many things in nature do. And now, we're going to add more We're going to add more heat? What? More heat. Okay, well. So, actually, we're going we to do? make... Yes, we're going to make some Red Hot Metamorphosis. Here we go. Uh, we're going to have a volcano. So this is a volcano. This is some tectonic plate. My fingertips are getting hot. What do you think? Well, let's see. Let's see if that volcano really erupted. Whoa, Whoa, it's getting sticky. It's, it's more metamorphic. Well, it's yeah. more metamorphic, so. You gotta go a little longer to get to the magma. This has got to be like Mount Vesuvius high. <laughs> Let's try that again. Let's try it. 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 Let's try
Yeah. All kinds of crazy. Yeah. Cool. But, yeah. There, and there's your Can I do this again? Sure. See, we got a little more. Yeah. What you see is as, whoops. Be careful. <laughs> Don't do this at home. <laughs> and of course, when a volcano erupts, there's a lot of hot and crazy magma rock, but there's also some solid rock that comes flying out as well. <laughs> You know, when I think of volcanoes, I think of places like Hawaii. Like most islands are like volcanoes. Yeah. But um, I was reading about Iceland just the other day. You were. And Iceland is full of all kinds of crazy geological experiences mm -hmm. because it sits right where the tectonic plates, did I say that right? Of Eurasia and North America meet and shift so that Iceland expands by about three centimeters a year. And of course, you're going to have the, the gases and the, the steaming hot pools that everybody likes to go and swim in. And of course, volcanoes, which uh, a few years ago, they were, the eruption was so bad, you couldn't have airlines flying across the North Atlantic. Oh my goodness. So whether or not you look out your window and see it, it's happening all the time. Yep. Well, power thank you. It is the power of nature, and we better be able to pay attention. Yes. All right. So hopefully you'll join us for part two of our Rock On series. Well, what are we going to learn about? We're going to learn about minerals next time, which and, are actually very different from rocks. And as you said earlier, a diamond is not a rock. It's a mineral. It's a mineral. Mm -hmm. But everybody always says, uh, get that rock. Get that big old rock. Get that know. big rock. All right. Well, thanks, Please everybody. Get that big old rock. Thank you, Monica. You're welcome. Thank you, Carol. And thanks to our beautiful background. <laughs> hey, Miss Monica, we're supposed to remember to tell everybody something. Share, like, and comment. comment. <laughs> All right, see you later. Bye.